How to replace white ink supplies on HP Latex 700W and 800W printers. The white ink system is comprised of these components. The maintenance wheel. The water tank. The print heads. An ink mix container and a 1 liter eco carton ink cartridge for HP Latex 700W printers or a 3 liter carton based ink cartridge for HP Latex 800W printers. The white ink system in the 700W has two independent ink supplies a 1 liter eco carton ink cartridge at the top and an ink mixing container at the bottom. Be careful not to swap the ink cartridge and the ink mix container. Replace the ink cartridge and the ink mix container when the printer prompts you to do so. Take the new white ink cartridge and shake it 100 times, as shown, before installing it in the printer. Follow the instructions on the front panel to replace the ink cartridge. The white ink system in the 800W model includes a 3-liter carton-based ink cartridge. This is a single cardboard box that contains two bags. Before installing a white ink cartridge, tilt the cartridge forwards and backwards a full 60 times. White ink system components should remain installed in the printer at all times, even when you are not using white ink in your jobs. This helps to prevent damage to the print head. If you do not intend to use white ink, store the white print heads in the maintenance wheel. To do so, first ensure that your printer is not printing or about to print. To be sure, you can stop the job queue. At the front panel, select print head. Then select replace. Always allow the white print head removal maintenance routine to complete prior to removing the print heads from the carriage. The front panel will prompt you to open the carriage cover when the carriage stops moving. Pull up and release the latch on top of the carriage. Lift the cover. To remove a print head, first lift the handle. Do this for your white ink print heads. Always install the same print head in the same printer carriage socket. You can label the print heads with the slot number. Then remove carefully the two white print heads from the carriage. Place a cloth below the needle to prevent ink droplets to fall on top of the carriage. Check the bottoms of the white print heads. If you see any ink, clean them gently with a lint-free cloth dampened with distilled water. The FI tower, indicated by B, is the structure into which the print head, A, is inserted, and through which the ink arrives at the print head. Whenever you remove a print head, check whether the FI tower has a lot of ink on it. If so, clean it with a lint-free cloth before inserting a new print head. At the right side of the printer, remove the print head storage box from the wheel. Open the print head storage box. Remove the auxiliary print heads from the storage box. Place your white print heads in the storage box, close it, and put it back into the wheel. Clean the plastic needles of the rotating chamber if they have dry ink. Place print heads in the rotating chamber in the same slot. Now insert the auxiliary white print heads into the carriage in the slots where you remove the white print heads. Once both auxiliary print heads are in place, close the print head door. You can leave the white print heads in the maintenance wheel for as long as you like. To use them again, reverse the procedure. Do not try to print without a full set of print heads installed in the carriage. Now, you can print as usual. 